Today we are rebuilding a club that is over 160 years old. Not County is finally back on our game. Last season they were part of the National League, hence why they weren't in FIFA 23. But you can see in the league table that Brexham, as they went up into League 2, Not County came in second, and in the end they managed to pull through as well and get promotion. So here they are again, back on our beloved game and of course we're gonna rebuild this team we're gonna have some fun and take them back to the top the play style for today is actually gonna be standard i just want to see what the default setting actually allows us to do the way we're gonna run the coaching system in this rebuild is we are allowed to sign a new coach every time we win a trophy or get promoted you'd be surprised to see that Notts county so far this season in league two in which they got promoted into are in first place which is extremely impressive and then if you go down even further, you can see that Macaulay Langstaff has seven goals, Jody Jones has five assists, and also McGoldrick is having a great season. Those are the reasons as to why Notts County could potentially, once again, be a team to try and get promotion, which I love. So Langstaff has a 66 rating. He is the top scorer of this team as we speak. He's 26 years old. Jody Jones, he is 25 years old. He's a left mid. And then McGoldrick, 69 rated. <laughs> yeah, boy. And he's 35. Okay, so he's probably not going to be here for too long. But I'll try my best to get something out of Langstaff and Jody Jones until we get promoted. After that, it's going to be quite tough. Hopefully, if these guys keep growing, it's going to be good. But let's start off this rebuild with our first transfers. Actually, before we move in there, I want to showcase to you guys that on FC24, there's a new formation. It's the 4-2-1-3. I absolutely love this. It's a really nice variation of a lineup that I personally always kind of attempted to create anyways on FIFA 23. So this is really nice to have within the game already. But actually, even before the transfers again, we have something interesting. Fabio Ribeiro, a 17-year-old who is 63 rated, a Portuguese talent, coming out of the youth academy with his shirt tucked in. I mean, if you guys follow Benfica, they have a youngster called Joao Neves. He plays with his shirt tucked in. He just he stands out massively on the pitch. What a smart boy. So I've just realized there's an issue in the fullback positions for us. It's either a player that is too old or a player that is only loaned in into the squad in the left back and right back position. So I went in and I started off by buying English players because we are playing with the oldest club in England. So why not go ahead and pull this one off? Actually, not the oldest club in England. The oldest club on FC24, let me put it that way. Wrexham is actually surprisingly only two years younger than this squad, which is very impressive. I had no idea about that, but hey, he comes in Luke Chambers. Chickson is going to be leaving. Chambers is going to be coming in. That left wing back was an old one. And this guy is a Liverpool talent. 19 years old, six foot one, English. Hopefully turns out to be the next Andrew Robertson. English. Walters, an Arsenal talent, is the right back I am going for. Yes, guys, we are rebuilding by starting off in the fullback positions. As mentioned, we had to pay 1 million for this. And Neman, a player that was a right midfielder from the bench, I sold to make this possible. Makari is a player that is only loaned in, so no future right there. I want to have players that are dedicated to this squad so now with Chambers on that left back position and also Walters in the right back position I feel a lot more confident in terms of the long term of this club and again of course he's English he's six foot tall again both of our fullbacks could be turning out to be quite physical here you see that in the center of the screen playoffs EFL final yes killing him or chilling him we are up against them as not county is doing well in real life we also get ourselves into a position where we could possibly get promoted twice back to back yes this is the team we have all the originals in here and of course the two fullbacks have grown nicely please please get us promotion are we a League One team? Yes, we are! McGoldrick coming off the bench and scoring. He must be so old by now, but honestly, it doesn't matter. He wasn't part of the starting 11, but the oldie comes in and shows that he is old but gold. Let me show you his rating. He is now 65 rated. He's 36 years old. 
Oh, thank you, man. That might be his parting gift for Notts County, which is amazing. Ribeiro, by the way, has grown to a 67 by now. So he actually goes into the starting 11 uh, very soon. Now, I want to see some of the stats of these players because obviously we do know that uh, some of these guys are doing well in real life. And Langstaff is coming in with 22 and 6. I love that. And McGoldrick off the freaking bench, despite going down minus four, has done an amazing job for us. What an Irish legend. Randall with 13 and 9. Ribeiro off the bench, 10 and 4. And then probably later on got a lot more playtime. And Crowley, also a good player of Notts County, has come in with 7 and 9, while Jody Jones at 7 and 3. So we are going up into League One, which is going to be very tough. But we had to play through the playoffs. We had 75 points. Wrexham is going up too. So we got promoted alongside Wrexham technically twice now. Me likey. And since we did manage to get promotion, I am allowed to bring in a coach. The first one is mandatory. You have to buy a coach initially when you start off the career mode. But here it is. All these guys kind of suck. Okay, I guess we can have a defensive one. You know what? I do not mind that. This man, no, 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 not midfield. Defense, he's the new coach. How about bringing in everyone's favorite bronze card from this year's ultimate team into our team? Manchester United is a mess. Cobby, come to Notts County, a team that knows how to win. He is now going to be our main man to replace Bostock, who is 32 years old. This is the one transfer I desperately wanted to make. Mayno is now one of the main players in our squad, and that is there forever. I'm extremely excited about this transfer, but it did cost me half my budget. Last season, we brought in two new fullbacks. This season, I am going for two new midfielders. Le Breton. Noé Le Breton. Coming in. I mean, you can't do a rebuild without a Frenchman, can you? He is now going to be part of our team. Coming in at a 66 as well. Palma, I appreciate you, but he's also on the older side. Approaching the 30 very soon. He's 60. What is he like? He's... Uh, what was he, 29, something like that? But yeah, Lebreton comes in. I'm obviously going to be changing his position, but I love the fact that he's so balanced as a player. That should be a very good partnership. These two could carry us into the Premier League, and I love that. So how's the League One journey, you might ask? Well, we are part of the playoffs once more. Nuts County, what the hell is going on here? Bolton and Barnsley are going up. I'm extremely impressed by how this team is pulling it off because we haven't brought in too many players. Chambers on a 71. Walters on a 70. For some reason, he wants to leave the club. There's a glitch going on here. He has requested a transfer. I might let him go and then bring him back in or something like that, or even bring in a replacement completely. Mayno on a 70. Le Breton on a 68. And then the originals, man. Jones, Langstaff, and also the Youth Academy kid are looking great. And we are going to be going through the playoffs in just a second. Langstaff, no chance that he leaves us next season. I'm still going to be keeping him 18 and 3. Ribeiro with 16 goals and 5 assists as well. Amazing stuff. Jody Jones, not as impressive. Oh, only just realized he's from Malta. That's quite interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and see how these playoffs go, my friend. I mean, if we're even taking part in it, right? We should be in there. All right, so 1-1 against Portsmouth. 3-2, Portsmouth kick us out. We're stuck in League One for one more season. You can guess who I'm bringing in right now before you see his face. It's a talent that plays in a second division in Germany and is already being talked about by so many people in this country. It is Uedraogo. Someone that turned up at Schalke at the age of 16, started playing games for them already, now turned 17 years old. Uedraogo, possibly one of the biggest talents in Germany right now and plays for Schalke. I am so excited about this guy. I watched him a couple of times and I have to say, he kind of reminds me of Musiala. He loves to dribble and all that jazz. He's a little bit deeper in his positioning, he plays center mid, but can play in the cam position. Now we have gone ahead and uh, paid 3 million for this transfer and he will be coming in for Crowley. Crowley, I appreciate you, but look at that. Quedraogo in the camp position goes up to a 72. He has 75 pace, 80 dribbling, 3 star, 3 star, 6 foot 3. Yes, this guy 
is a big one. You know what? We had a little bit of money on the side, and I'm bringing in Chiaro Dia. Again, why is this kit glitch happening all the time? Hope it's going to be fixed, and I hope it's not a thing that has to do with mods, but Chiaro Dia is a big talent from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's not German, he's Italian. This is someone that we need to look out for in real life football, but he's going to come in and upgrade our defense massively, which was needed, right? Both of these center backs that we have right now are not necessarily great. He's a left footer, so that makes him even more desirable moving forward into the future, but he will be our new left center back. League one, no more. We are going up into the championship. Not County, 97 points. Blackpool on 95, and then there's a huge gap, a massive gap between those two teams and the rest. And guys, starting 11, look at it. Langstaff, 75. Uedraogo up to a 75. And then we have Kobe Maino on a 74. Le Breton, 72. And the new centre-back has grown as well. And so have the fullbacks. Definitely next season, the number one target has to be bringing in a new goalkeeper, a much higher rated one, because otherwise we could be getting decimated in the championship. And again, it's Macaulay Langstaff who is doing everything for this team in terms of scoring goals. And Jody Jones just had one of his best seasons and still has only grown by plus one. He's 28 years old. He might have to move him, on, move him on, but I am very happy about the performances of Fabio Ribeiro. The Youth Academy talent has been doing bits, and so has our new transfer, Uedraogo. Benfica have brought in Anatoly Trubin from the Ukrainian side, Shakhtar Donetsk. And this man, Samuel Soares, when Trubin came in, actually started a few games and really impressed me. And now he's just sat on the bench at Benfica. So for me, this was an easy choice. Samuel Suarez is now becoming a Notts County goalkeeper. And that's the position I wanted to desperately improve. Stone, it is a plus four upgrade on him. He comes in with a 72. And clearly, we do need another amazing center back in this team. That's our second big target now. A new king in defense. Yes, we have brought in the Rangers talent, Leon King. And obviously his name is amazing. So I'm going to bring him into the squad just for that reason as well. Six million spent on this one. Luckily, we moved into the championship where we do get a lot more money. He comes in with a 74 rating, fits in perfectly, 80 pace, really good dribbling. He could probably play it fullback too. Uh, defending and physicality looking very solid as well. A right-footed centre-back, six foot one tall. And now he can just get things going. Unless Walters forces his way out. He's still crying and requesting a transfer. Oh, and let's not forget, we got promoted so we can bring in a new coach. It's a five-star coach for midfield. That is so important because as you can clearly tell, we are definitely lacking some coaches for the optimal growth of these players. Well, we are up against Watford and we get past them. Hold on a second. We are in the final. Yes, we are in the final of the championship playoffs. No freaking way. Yes way. We're gonna go up into the Prem. I'm not ready for this. Where did we finish? We finished in the fifth position. All right, Leeds United going up. Bournemouth is going up. I want to be the third team. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Make this happen. Let's get into the Premier League already. That would be amazing. But then I'm also scared because I feel like our team is not ready for that yet. But here it goes. Throw everything into this performance. Come on, Notts County. Yes, Notts County. Ribeiro. Oh, the youth academy talent has taken us into the Premier League. And of course, we should be showcasing the stats that got us here. Who scored the goals? It's Mr. Langstaff. He's 30 years old now. Your job is done, my man. Thank you so much for taking us into Premier League football. But from here on out, you're not safe anymore. If you don't perform, someone else will come in and replace you. But looking at Ribeiro here, plus five, 81 rated. He definitely had a huge impact on this season. And so did some other players, including our CDM 10 and 4 from Le Breton, Uedraogo 10 and 17. I love that. We are creating the next Musiala. The highest rated and the most expensive transfer I have made so far. Samuel Illing Jr., an Englishman that apparently plays at Juventus. 
I have never heard of this guy. Is he actually super talented? Well, he is super high rated and super expensive. 28.5 million. I had to pay for this one. He comes in with 82. Woohoo! Yes, please. Jody Jones, I appreciate you, man. I really, really do. And you know what? For your efforts, we're not going to sell you. We're going to drop you to the bench. And then we're going to bring in Illing Jr. as a left wing. That is the plan. 89 pace, 76 passing, 85 dribbling. All-star week foot, left foot it. Very pleased with this man becoming a part of this Notts County squad. And you know what? Juventus, black and white. Notts County has that black and white element as well. All good. The first Premier League season, I didn't expect us to smash everyone, obviously. And as you guys can see right here, we came in into the 13th position. I'm just satisfied with the fact that we haven't gone down. This season, it is Arsenal winning the league title just ahead of... Wait, what? Fulham is third. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. I love that. Um, let's see the squad right now. Langstaff keeps growing. He's 31 years old. He's 81 rated. He's not holding us back at all. At, the, at least right now, right? At, at that point where he starts going down, we're just going to bring in an amazing striker into his position. But yeah, Illing Jr. up to an 84. Libero, possibly one of our best players. 86 rated. I mean, in terms of rating, he is. Only our goalkeeper is below the 80 at the moment, which is okay. We have conceded lots of goals this season. That makes a lot of sense. Defensively, we are looking very strong. Walters is still requesting a transfer. <laughs> this guy is such an odd one. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look into the squad hub right here and see who has done the best. Illing Jr. Look at that. First season comes in with 20 goal contributions. But sorry, Ribeiro has 21. So 20 from Illing Jr., 21 from Ribeiro. Langstaff, 8-2. Mm, it's not great. But then again, it's our first Prem season. He gets at least one more year. Well, actually, Walters is leaving. He's joining Strasbourg when the transfer window opens. Finally, he got his wish. So we sold the right back. He forced his way out. And you know what? We're going for the biggest English talent in that position right now. It is Rico Lewis from Manchester City. But he moved to Arsenal. 55.7 million. Basically, my entire budget has gone into this one. He comes in in that right back spot, though, with an 84 rating. Someone that I've seen play for Pep Guardiola and definitely showcase his abilities. Very impressed by him. Big talent, rightfully, has very high potential. Notts County is doing it, my friends. They are now a club playing European football, missing out on Champions League football by just four points and a little bit of goal difference on top. But City have won the league title just ahead of Manchester United due to the goal difference, actually. But Notts County... Fifth. I love that. And hey, Langstaff, 82 rated. Is he the lowest rated one? Yeah, he is. Alongside the goalkeeper, the lowest rated player in a team. He is now 32 years old. Not much growth happening there. It's only natural. He has helped us out so much. And once again, having an amazing season. 25 in one. We will have to bring in a striker that is definitely higher rated than him to be able to actually place them into the starting 11. Otherwise, it's a disgrace. And here is the man we are signing. Look at him in front of the press. Be nice to everyone. Of course, it is Evan Ferguson. He is now the striker for our team. 103 million we paid for him. Basically, 104, actually. A lot of money. Way too much money. Langstaff, I love you, mate. I really do. Thank you for everything you've done here. But we need to bring in the future. And Ferguson is the one. It's a nice upgrade already. A player that is extremely physical. He can basically become our Haaland. So let's see if this works out. It's a big boy transfer. I expect big boy performances. Just one spot. Yes, that is all the improvement we can see this season. Despite the signing of Evan Ferguson. But we had... A couple of teams below us with the same amount of points. We had the better goal difference. So at the end of the day, maybe signing in was the right thing. We are now a Champions League club. And honestly, we look like one. The ratings on these players are insane at the moment. The bench is definitely not Champions League level. That is the next thing I definitely need to focus on. I'm going to fill that up for sure. But let's go ahead into the squad up real quick. And let me show you something. Evan Ferguson. 29 and 2. Elaine Jr., 28 and 11. Unbelievable performances. 
and Langstaff off the bench. 7-3. and three. He's going down in his stats. Thank you once again for helping us out, buddy. What a legend. Uh, but going ahead, guys, let me show you one thing that is more important. We have a match. Yes, an FA Cup final right here against Chelsea. Can we win it? Yes, we can. With Raugo and Evan Ferguson, which means we get to get ourselves a new coach. And uh, that is obviously important. So here it is. The free agents are walking in. Da Costa, 77. Andrade coming in with the 78. Maya with the 74. And Sissoko with the 76. Now the bench is actually filled up with some good backup players. And I do feel like this Champions League season could be the one. My friends, we have gotten past the likes of Inter to now play against Real Madrid. This team could pull it off and it does. 4-2. Now the Champions League semi-final against West Ham. West Ham, 2-0 victory, first game. And then it is 5-1 in the end for Notts County. We have gotten into the Champions League final. Can I be honest? That was fully expected. This team that we have built up over the years is honestly incredible. So here it is. Manchester City in the Champions League final. They will be playing against this side right here. First of all, Langstaff has gone down to a 76. That is insane. I will sub him on though, okay? Out of respect, we will sub him on. And uh, yeah, Ferguson, 92. Illing Jr., 93. Ribeiro, the youth academy talent, has done such a great job. Puedra Ogo is now well and truly on Musiala's level. And Meno and Le Breton, who has overtaken him, are actually looking solid. Defensively, we look great. Goalkeeper has gone up. Coaches have helped us out big time as well. And in the squad hub, we can see, I assume, Ferguson. Yes, 33 and 8. Great season in terms of goal scoring. And Uedraogo with the 25 and 14. I am genuinely excited to try out this team as we step onto the pitch for the Champions League final. But before we do that, real quick, Premier League. Yes! Let's go! The double is on the line. This is amazing stuff. FA Cup. Have we won that? No. West Ham won that one. Carabao? Nope. We haven't won that one either. Hey, I'll take the Champions League and the Premier League if we can. And Erling Haaland and his boys. The question is, can they stop us? I assume they have a great side, right? I haven't actually looked into their team. Hoffman, Hernandez, Martinez, Arnau Martinez, I assume. We're going to see him plenty in FIFA in FC24. Sorry. And Chukwu Eze. No Jeremy Doku. Interesting decision from this city side for sure but this is the battle of evan ferguson versus haaland which is just about appropriate city playing it nicely down those wings Chukweze. my tackle is misplaced not once but twice possibly oh Chukwu gets past me easily city causing us lots of trouble and suarez has to die for his first save Oh, that's Haaland. Switch players, man. I swear to God, the player switching system on FC24, especially on crosses and stuff, it's doing my head in. We're 1-0 down. My guy, let's take a look at this replay. Look at my guy that is defending Erling Haaland. His back is turned to the corner. Where is he looking off to? That's my captain as well. Legit, my player switching is just not working. Oh, no. Haaland is open in here. Thank you, King. I appreciate that tackle. And that is going to be the first half done. It's a struggle against the City side. It's not easy at all. Oh, come on, lads. Can we put in a freaking tackle? Oh, wow. He goes through my legs. Thank you, Chiarodia. You messed up on that Haaland goal. So you better do something right here. It's a good pass into Illing Jr. Can he get past people here? He's left-footed, right? Evan Ferguson is in here. Shooting. Left-footed strike. It's just not powerful enough. I cannot touch the freaking ball. I legitimately cannot touch the ball. There we go. Finally. Okay. Illing Jr. Here goes Evan Ferguson. Illing Jr. making an even better run. Go on then, son. You can save us here. And he will. He definitely will. Illing Jr. has scored for not counting the Champions League final. Get in. 71, 71 minutes in into this game. And we finally have a goal for ourselves here. I'm going to save Langstaff. His uh, substitution for later on, though. Meno, Puedraogo, 
He's sprinting past people. He's a tall lad. Cross whip Dean. Far side. Evan Ferguson. 77 minutes. The comeback is completed. Manchester City is falling apart at the sight of Evan Ferguson inside their box. This is history. An amazing moment for Notts County. And you know what? Now it's time to sub on Langstaff. And in comes the legend for the man that has just gotten the goal. It just needed to happen. Langstaff in a Champions League final. Can you believe it? There's a run being made by Kobe Mano. Langstaff gets it under control. Imagine if he could score one. Oh no. 90th minute. Manchester City inside the box. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Corner given though. Hold on a second. Goalkeeper comes ahead. Cross ripped in. Ribeiro against Haaland. That's a bad header. Keeper could get it under control. Referee blows the whistle. Yes! We have done it. I probably should have given the captaincy to Ribeiro or something, or at least Langstaff. It would have been great to give him the captaincy in game. I don't think you can switch it around, but Chiaro Dia is going to lift this trophy for Notts County. Guys, it has been a beautiful rebuild. Honestly, this one I enjoyed big time, and I hope you did as well. If you did, make sure to smash that like, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. And peace.